Chaf is the next letter. This is how you write it down. Now, do you remember the letter bit? We had the special dot inside the letter, which changed the pronunciation of the word of the letter. Now, whenever you have a dot inside the letter chaf, you pronounce it kaf, k, like k in English, k, kaf. Without the dot, it is chaf. 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 If you remember, when we talked about chet, they sound the same. Chet, as you can see here. Chet. Now, another special feature of this letter, whenever this letter comes at the end of a word, it appears differently. You see, in Hebrew we have these letters that are written down differently whenever appeared at the end of a word. So in this case, we write it down like so. This is chaf at the end of a word. It's important to say that you cannot put a dot in this form of the chaf at the end of a word. It will always be chaf. Next is lamed. Lamed. As L. 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 Also very easy to write it down. Next is Mem. It's a bit tricky to write it down, but follow my hand like so. Mem. The English equivalent is M. Mem. M. Now, once again, whenever this letter comes at the end of a word, it has a different form. Like so. This is mem at the end of the word. <laughs>